Hey girl gang, it's Dr. Joy here and you're watching Delivering Joy MDTV. Welcome to Super Mama Sunday. And today we are still talking about safe medication use in pregnancy. So we're breaking this down by category and today's category is constipation. Oh my gosh, you definitely don't wanna miss this video. Make sure you keep watching. ladies let's talk about constipation and pregnancy so constipation is very prevalent all throughout the world uh, especially in the United States where our diet is pretty bad believe it or not you are supposed to have a bowel movement shortly after you have a meal but because our diets these days tend to be so awful we don't necessarily see that so you should be having at least one bowel movement a day um, most americans have a bowel movement every other day or every two days which is kind of bad but we should certainly not be going over 48 hours without removing the waste from our system or having a bowel movement so in pregnancy specifically the progesterone or progestational hormone that you are making to protect the pregnancy and keep it going actually slows down your bowel movements. It slows down the actual movement of your intestines. And so that can certainly lead to constipation. But when folks hit me up and they're like, oh my God, girl, I'm constipated. I am ready for it. So let's talk about some home remedies for constipation first before we move to medications. The first thing I, I recommend is making sure that you are drinking plenty of water. The colon's whole job, your colon's whole job is to remove the water from the, the stool that is passing through. And so the colon conserves water when you don't have enough. So when you don't have enough, it, that water is drawn out of your stool and your stool gets hard and it makes it difficult for you to push out. So water, 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 more water, so important. 64 ounces a day at least, but in pregnancy, you may need even more than that. So just make sure that you are drinking plenty of water. Next, I wanna discuss fiber. Fiber is something that we get out of the foods that we eat. So especially fruits and vegetables and whole grains. And we talked a little bit about nutrition in pregnancy. You can catch that video here in the cards. Fiber is really important to bulk up the stools and help you keep those bowels moving regularly. So fruits and vegetables, five to nine servings a day for sure. If you still are not able to get enough fiber or maybe you're not tolerating food right now very well, if you're first or early second trimester, adding a supplement like Metamucil or Benafiber or any of the other over-the-counter fiber supplements is actually totally okay during pregnancy to help keep your fiber levels where they need to be. In addition to water and fiber, exercise is the next best thing to keep your bowels moving like they should. So get your body moving, it'll help keep your bowels moving. I really like moderate exercise in pregnancy, walking, swimming, um, yoga, are all perfectly fine to do during pregnancy. So keep moving mama so that you can keep those bowels moving. So let's move on to a few pregnancy safe medications that you can use for constipation. My number one all time favorite is magnesium. Magnesium is very helpful to keep your bowels moving and it also can help with muscle spasms and cramps. Um, in addition to magnesium, Miralax once a day mixed in water or juice is definitely completely safe to use during pregnancy. I recommend it all the time. Uh, if you notice that you're having really hard stools that are difficult to pass, colace or stool softener can be used in pregnancy to kind of help keep the stools nice and soft and easy to pass so that you don't get the hemorrhoids, which we'll talk about in another video. Let's say you are in the throes of a serious constipation episode. What I always uh, try first is a bottle of magnesium citrate and magnesium citrate is an actual drink that you can pick up from your grocery store or pharmacy stick it in the fridge get it nice and cold and then you're going to take that whole bottle to the head 
if it has been several days, I'd say like more than three or five days since you've had a bowel movement, you may want to also pick up a Fleet's enema or a, just a um, saline enema. And the enema actually will help soften the stool that's right there in the rectum because it can get like brick hard and it can be very difficult to, to get it out. If you have gone over five days without a bowel movement, it's time to bring in the big guns and call your healthcare provider because occasionally I do have mamas that need to come in for a serious nurse administrated enema and we need to be able to help clean that stool out so that you don't end up getting really sick. Let's review. The most important things to help avoid constipation in pregnancy is making sure that you are drinking at least 64 ounces or more of water every day, eating your five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables and whole and including some whole grains with that so that you keep your fiber levels high. If you can't get those servings in, you may consider adding a fiber supplement like Benefiber or Metamucil uh, or even Fiber One bars. They make some pretty good bars. And so if you find a high fiber snack bar that you like, that is certainly an option. And don't forget to move. Exercise helps prevent constipation all throughout our lives, but certainly in pregnancy. For medications, we are totally safe using a daily Miralax, using a Dolcalax, uh, using a stool softener like Colace, or if the constipation has gotten super serious, it's time to call your healthcare provider and see what you need to do to help get some relief. I hope this video was helpful for you in determining the safest ways to treat constipation in pregnancy. Uh, if you have questions or comments you want me to answer, stick them down in the comment section. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Super Mama Sunday episode. And I'll catch you next time, Super Mamas. Peace.